As pilots, we know we're responsible for the safety of the passengers we have on board, but we're also responsible for the safety of those we encounter on runways and taxiways. I'm Mark Ward, general aviation pilot and a certified flight instructor. John Wayne Airport, Orange County, is among the 50 busiest airports in the nation, serving light GA aircraft, corporate turbojets, large air carriers, plus extensive helicopter operations. In this video, we focus on three safety risks at John Wayne Airport, runway exiting, runway incursion hotspots, and helicopter fixed wing operations. John Wayne has a relatively low incursion rate. However, recently we've seen a significant increase in the number of runway incursions caused by pilot deviation, and we need your help in reducing them. You may be thinking, that could never happen to me, but unfortunately it does happen, and it can just as easily happen to you. Let's take a look at some surface risk and best practices you can use at John Wayne Airport to prevent a runway incursion from happening to you. First, remember that ATC is there for you. If you are ever uncertain, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify an instruction or a clearance by using the keywords say again, verify, or confirm. Airfield familiarization is a key factor in the reduction of runway incursions. The John Wayne Airport diagram identifies high-risk areas as published hotspots, which emphasizes the importance, even for locally based pilots, of reviewing and actively using a current airport diagram for the taxi portion of your flight. At airports with closely spaced parallel runways, such as John Wayne, the hold short lines for the parallel runway can come up quickly. Notice Hotspot 2 crosses runway 20 right at a high energy segment where landing or departing aircraft are less maneuverable. Several incursions have occurred at this hotspot recently. After landing runway 20 left for west parking, focus on safely exiting the runway and stopping with your tail completely clear of the double yellow hold lines. Actively scan for the hold short lines, guard lights, surface, and elevated runway signage. And make sure you hold short of runway 20 right. Ensure you read back all runway hold short instructions and remain on the tower frequency until issued instructions to cross the parallel runway. At Hotspot 3, the transition from Taxiway Alpha to join Taxiway Charlie at Taxiway Hotel is easily missed. Overshooting Taxiway Charlie will quickly put you at risk of incurring runway 2 right, 20 left. Remember, by actively scanning for and identifying all runway hold short markings, you are in the best position to avoid crossing them incorrectly. John Wayne Airport also experiences extensive helicopter operations to and from ramps and parallel taxiways, Alpha and Bravo. Helicopters should avoid overflying taxiing aircraft, and taxiing aircraft should be alert for hold instructions by the tower, intended to provide ample space for helicopter operations. Use caution to avoid rotor wash and inadvertently cutting off a moving helicopter. By using these best practices when operating at John Wayne Airport, and by sharing your knowledge with fellow pilots, we can reduce GA runway incursions. Working together, we can all contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.